Hello, in this video we will be covering how to encode the first page of the Battles of Talavera poem in the PDF that you downloaded. Make sure you have your Oxygen XML Editor and PDF open as you watch this video. Before we start, let's briefly cover what you learned in the tutorial. There are two core elements, the line group and line element, and five common attributes, the rend, part, style, number, and type attributes that are commonly used when encoding verse text like poems. Also, the div element, which you learned about in the previous tutorial, is also used when there are subdivisions of a verse text, and that is used to specify those components. Also, we will be implementing a few editorial practices when encoding this first page of the poem. First is we are going to ignore the line breaks found in the title in the first page. Also, we are going to use the line break element, which is an empty element for any empty space, or known as white space, and any double horizontal lines. The third editorial practice is any Roman numeral headers above stanzas are going to go into a number attribute rather than an element. So let's go to your Oxygen XML editor, click on the white page icon, and the All TEI P5 template is already highlighted, and let's click the Create button. As you can see, we have a baseline TEI document, and for the purposes of this video, we are just going to focus on the text section. Now, as you look at the first page of the poem, you have a title, a Latin phrase, a Roman numeral header, and the first stanza of the poem. We are going to divide this into two divisions. One division we're going to call the header division. That's going to include the title and the Latin phrase. The other division we are going to call the poem division, and this is going to include the Roman numeral header, and also the first stanza of the poem. Now, as you can see, we have a paragraph element in the body element. Highlight that and hit your delete key on your keyboard to delete it. First, we are going to create that header division, and we need to use a div element and a type attribute to specify what that division is. So add a greater than symbol, type di, the division element should be highlighted and hit enter. Hit your spacebar and we're going to now add the type attribute. So type ty, the type attribute should be highlighted and hit enter. And we are going to put header between the two double quotes. Next, click inside your div element and hit enter. First, we need to do the title. We are going to use a head element to encode the title. We have not used the head element before. We cannot use the title element that we used in the TI header because that element can only be used there. So add a greater than symbol, type HE, and the head element should be highlighted, and hit Enter. As you can see, the head element is validating. That means we do not need to use the sub-element. This is where you're going to encode the title of the poem. Next, we need to address that empty space and double horizontal line that you see below the title. So click after the head element and hit Enter. And as I stated, one of the editorial practices is we're going to use a line break element for empty space and any double horizontal line. So we need to add two line break elements here. Add your greater than symbol, type LB. The line break element should be highlighted and hit enter. Go ahead and copy this line break element we created. Click after it, hit enter, and paste. So then we now have one line break element for the empty space and the other one for the double horizontal lines. Next we need to encode the Latin phrase, that is italicized. We are going to use a div element and a type attribute to specify what that division is. So click after your last line break element and hit enter. Add a greater than symbol and type di. 
and the div element should be highlighted and hit enter. Next, we're going to add the type attribute. Hit your spacebar, type ty, the type attribute should be highlighted and hit enter. We are going to put epigraph between the two double quotes. Go ahead and do that. An epigraph is a phrase or quote at the beginning of a text, like a book or a chapter of a book. The Latin phrase here that's found on the first page is an epigraph, and that is why we put that in the type attribute. Click inside the div element and hit enter. Now we are going to use a line element and a style attribute to encode the Latin phrase. Add a greater than symbol, type L, hit your downward arrow on your keyboard. The line element should be highlighted and hit enter. Next we need to add the style attribute. Hit your spacebar, type ST. The style attribute should be highlighted and hit enter. What we are going to put here between the double quotes is the font style tag with italic that is found in the cascading style sheet language. As you found in the tutorial, what is included in the style attribute is anything that is part of a formal style sheet language, which the cascading style sheet language is. So what we're going to put between the two double quotes is font, dash, style, colon, space, italic. And this is the cascading style sheet expression for italics. Now as you can see, the line element is validating, which means we do not need to use a sub-element. This is where you're going to encode the Latin phrase. Next, as you see on the first page, we have another double horizontal lines and empty space below that. We need to add a line break for the double horizontal lines and a line break for the empty space. So copy the two line breaks you've already created underneath the head element. Click after the epigraph division you created and hit enter and then hit paste. And then these two line break elements will reflect that double horizontal line after the last phrase and then the empty space below that. We have just finished creating the header division for the title and Latin phrase. Next we need to create that poem division that includes the Roman numeral header and the first stanza of the poem. So click after the header division and hit enter and we are going to create a new division. Add a greater than symbol, type DI, the div element should be highlighted and hit enter. Next we're going to add a type attribute to specify this division. Hit your spacebar, type TY, the type attribute should be highlighted and hit enter. And we are going to input poem here between the two double quotes. Next, click inside the div element and hit enter. We are now going to encode the first stanza of the poem along with the Roman numeral header. We are going to use the line group element and the line element and three attributes the number attribute, the type attribute, and the rend attribute. The first element we are going to put is the line group element. Add a greater than symbol, type LG, the line group element should be highlighted and hit enter. Next we are going to add two attributes, the number attribute and the type attribute. First we're going to add the number attribute. Hit your spacebar, type in, the number attribute should be highlighted and hit enter. And this is where we're going to put the Roman numeral header information, so type in Roman numeral 1. Click after the ending double quote, hit your spacebar, and type TY for the type attribute which should be highlighted and hit enter. We are going to input stanza here between the two double quotes. Next, click inside the line group element and hit enter. We are now going to have a line element for each verse line that you see on the first page, and we have nine of those. And as you can see, two of those verse lines are indented. 
First, we are going to create a line element. So add a greater than symbol, type L, and then hit your downward arrow key on your keyboard, and the line element should be highlighted and hit Enter. We need nine of these elements. So what we want to do is copy that line element we just created, click after it, and hit Enter, and we're going to paste that eight times. Now we have nine line elements for each verse line that you see on the first page. Now, as I mentioned, we have two verse lines that are indented. That is the sixth and ninth verse line. And so we need to add that information in the sixth and ninth line element with a rend attribute. So click inside the sixth line opening element tag, hit your spacebar and type REN, and the rend attribute should be highlighted and hit enter. And then we're going to put indent between the two double quotes. We are going to do the same thing with the ninth line element. So click inside the ninth line opening element tag, hit the space bar and type REN, and the rend attribute should be highlighted and hit enter. And then type indent between the two double quotes. We have just completed the poem division that has the Roman numeral header and the first stanza of the poem of the Battles of Talavera. The next steps you need to take is to take the information from the first page of the poem and add that information into the correct elements that we just created here. This concludes the video for encoding poetry and TEI tutorial.